practice, mm. and I just kind of came up with my own thoughts. And I don't really, you know. So what may, what, 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 what criteria you yeah. used there? So, for example, I said this stuff the other night. Yeah. I said, how could there be a God if there's little kids getting cancer? If there's all these atrocities going on in the world. How could there possibly, like, what's a, what's a three-year-old, for example, imagine a three, four-year-old little kid. What could they have done to have deserved to have passed away so early? Okay, so, so your argument is not a, 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 a rational argument, it's an emotional argument. Because okay. your, your argument is like a, a, when someone sees a, 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 a man uh, hitting a baby that is a few hours, just yeah, born, yeah, yeah. hitting him at the back. You know what they do that yeah. for? No. Because he has to cry for, to make sure the blood is, the blood is circulating. Okay. okay? If you don't know that, you're going to think, what the heck this guy is doing to the baby? He's an evil man. Because what you can see, a man holding a baby and hitting him. You see? But after, when you understand the wisdom behind of that, even though the baby is crying, but that is the most beloved thing to the father, to see his baby crying. Okay? Sometimes my point here, that the emotional arguments you are utilizing doesn't not, it's not an objective. It's not an objective, meaning that, that okay, for example, I, 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 I will come to, uh, to, to deal with the issue of children having a cancer and that because your argument is based upon not understanding what was the wisdom of Allah creating this creation. That's why many people, they will misjudge Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's action because they have not understood why Allah created this creation. Well, what's the creation? Is it the cancer or is it No, the no, the, oh, everything, everything, okay? Now, so you want a place when there's, there's only good, correct? Yes. Okay. There is a place like that. Do you know where? So we have it. Paradise, yes. And there is a, there is a place when there's only pure evil. So I'm assuming that's hell. The hellfire, yes. okay. So God's power is showing us that if you really care about goodness, then I'm going to create you in a place where there's good and evil. Okay? Evil from our own perspective. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay? So now it's up if you really care about good and you don't want to see evil, then in this life, I'm going to test you to see if you are a true belief, if you are a true, truthful person and sincere that you want to place in good. But when Allah creates life, it's a test. That's what Allah says in Surah Al-Furqan. He said that He will test us. Afatasbirun, would you be patient upon Allah's test? Because remember, paradise, which is the eternal life, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam have described it. He said it's the most expensive product. <laughs> Do you call me, Akhi? Are you here? Yeah? Uh, okay. Sorry, yeah? The most expensive product. So for us, you know, sometimes even me, I'm a Muslim, but yes, I see when you see a child, he has a, is disabled, it's a cancer, you're going to feel sympathy. Mm -hmm. But when I understand the reward of being patient upon that, it's a paradise which the eyes never seen, the heart never fought off, and the, the, the ears never heard. I say, you know what? You're not going to get that place for, no, for, for, for some joke thing. It has to be a serious thing. So my point here is, let's go back is to let's go back to the point here. Or oh, if there is a cancer, there is that. That does not negate the existence of God. Rather, that proves the existence of God. So no, my thing is, I'm not using it as in, to negate the existence of God. I'm like, how could this God be something that everyone worships and loves? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because what's what's a three-year-old little kid possibly have done in life to, to deserve to deserve that? And if let's say God forbid he passes away. You're being deprived of your whole life. No, yes, he's going he's, to paradise. Yes, he's going to paradise with. He'll be laughing at you in a way. Let him laugh at me. Yeah, you see, so he does. And I'm not saying that. I'm not saying disrespect. No, 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 no. But he'll be laughing thinking this guy is caring about me, but I'm in paradise. But he's wish, he's missing out on all that life has to offer. But this life is full of stress and depression. Would for you those, like him? For those three years. No, no. Even for future, there's many people in your age that are depressed and and, and stressed. Mm -hmm. So he is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala saved him through that. Also, is a test, brother. What I'm saying to you, look, you cannot say, okay, who should know what, who deserve what and what deserve what? Who should say that? No one. I mean, but you just saying that person why he should not deserve the, the cancer. You lost. So who should deserve? Who, who should who should who should determine who deserve what and who deserve what not? No, no one can because life is unfair. It's just how it is. So, so now, so like now, some people are born into wealth. Some people are born into poverty. You no, know, like. So you contradicting yourself then? Because you tell me he doesn't deserve it, but I'm now asking you who should determine who deserve what and who deserve what not. You tell me no one. So why you the one who deserve, okay, 
Because what is deserving? Deserving doesn't mean all the time you're evil. When Allah tests us, as Allah mentioned that in the Quran. Have you read the Quran? That's the, the, the problem. The problem with some Muslims, they haven't read the Quran, and uh, all, all, you, all you, what you, the questions that you have is been answered in the Quran. I can't consider myself a Muslim because I don't know. I, like it, it'd be, it's wrong of me to consider myself a Muslim when there's other people that practice and know the Quran. I don't know. I, I don't know anything. Yeah, but if, to, I just don't eat ham. Yeah, yeah. You, know I mean? you saw this again. I just don't eat pork. You know, like you know, you know, you know, you like uh, some, you know, uh, uh, some Muslims, yeah. They will some, steal. Yeah, you know, some, I don't want to. You know, I can't be like that. You can't be a fake Muslim. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's, it's not. It, no, it'd be wrong not. of me to say that. We we'll come to that. Disrespectful to all the people that practice. No, 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 no problem, no problem. We we'll come to that as well, yeah. But you know, some Muslims, yeah. So we say, what's the case? Yeah. So they steal, they steal, and they do everything. But it says, I will not eat pork. You know. It's just a side point you mentioned. That doesn't mean he's a hypocrite. What it means, doesn't mean because I'm making two wrong, I should make a third wrong. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Doesn't mean because I'm robbing people, therefore I say, I'm not just robbing people, I'm not just going to kill someone then. No, it doesn't work like that. You understand? What I have tried to do, try to stop myself from robbing people. I try, try to stop myself doing something else, okay? So my point here is so, because I've experienced when you meet some Muslims, they say, I was a Muslim, I left Islam. When I do investigation with them, they were not Muslims to begin with. All they were Muslims, but they haven't studied the Quran. So if, when we understand what was the wisdom behind Allah created this creation, we understand there's a reason for Allah to test this person, his, his parents. Because the child has a cancer, yes. That a child is a test for the parents. You know, Allah will test us through, Allah mentioned that in the Quran clearly. Allah will test us through our families, through our wealth, through our health. So Allah mentioned that, why? For if you be patient upon that, there's a reward. Because every person will say to his friend, I will, I will do anything for you. Because he's in a time of ease. You know, when he's in a time of hardship, how many friends you will find? I can think of a few. A few, but not all of them. Yeah, yeah, not all. My point here is that many people, they'll be grateful to Allah in a time of ease. But are you truly grateful to the Creator who gave you your own life? Your own existence is by His virtue. The energy, the... the, 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 the uh, the oxygen that you're getting by his virtue. Are you going to be grateful to him just because of that? Or you are true grateful to the Creator through the hardship? That's what Allah tells people. That's what Allah said in the Quran. Some people, they worship Allah on the edge. When something good happens to him, he says, oh, Islam is beautiful. When something bad happens to him, he turns away from it. Allah said, He has lost this life and the hereafter. Indeed, this is the great loss. When a person turns away from his creator because he put him through a test, that's it. You understand? So this what is happening because of cancer. This, this, all of this is emotional uh, uh, ways. Some people try to reject God, which cannot be an objective criteria to do so. Doesn't mean because we don't understand what is the wisdom behind it. Therefore, there is no wisdom behind it. Let me give you an example of that to understand my point here. Okay? Imagine I have a daughter. She's three years old. And the doctor gave me an injection to inject her with because she has a type of disease. My daughter, she's going to look at me as what? As an evil man. I'm holding what? A needle. Well, if you tell her that it's good for her, and if you, needles, I mean, yeah, a needle's like a mental thing. You can tell her it, doesn't, it won't hurt. But she'll cry. And she'll say, no, 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 I don't want it. I don't know if you have children because I have children. I have three of them, so I know how it is. Yeah. People have children, they know. You will tell her, I mean, we were children. My father used to tell me, don't worry. I said, no, man, I'm not, you hurt me last time. I'm not trusting you. But your father will say, no, my son or my daughter, the capacity of your mind is limited, therefore cannot be a criteria to judge my action. Okay, yeah. Is that a good point? Do you agree with that? Makes sense, okay. Therefore, even though I'm holding a needle, even though it's going to hurt her, even though it's going to make her cry, even though it's going to make her suffer a lot, but is that good for her? Is it good for her? Yeah. Are you a bad person for doing that? No. From her angle, that's bad. But from your angle, it's good. it's good. Likewise, when the Creator creates things, from His perspective, it's good. From our perspective, it's bad. But that does not negate Allah is the all wise. What only negates that our capacity of our mind capacity is limited. Does it make sense? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. And that, that's how it is. Alhamdulillah. What, look, brother. Yeah, Islam is not like Christianity. It's not like Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Sikhism, every ism. You name it. When you look at Islam. 
Allah always mentioned to us, because I believe the best intellectual argument is in the Quran. You know, the best way of proving Allah is in the Quran. Allah said, Am khuliqu min ghayri shay'in am humul khaliqun. Am khalaqu samawati wal arda bal la yuqinun. Were they created by nothing? Or did they create themselves? Or create the heavens and the earth? Look how Allah finished this verse. Surely they have no firm belief. You speak to the top scientists, for example, Richard Dawkins, where he says, we don't know, perhaps there's more multi universe, just guesswork. You see? They have no firm belief. So the verse, let me translate for you, uh, Taymor, yeah? Taymor Khan, you know Taymor? Yes. Tam, you know, Tatar, brother. No. Yeah, Taymor is from the Tatar. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Tam, Taymor. Uh, 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 so the verse, would they create by nothing? Even a th nothing is not even a thing, let alone to create something else. Okay? okay. Or did they create themselves? That's the question you ask yourself. Did I create myself? One of the great scholars called Ibn Uthaymin, may Allah have mercy upon him, said, he said, it is illogical to create yourself because that would be a paradox. Why? Because if, if I already exist, there's no need to create myself. I already, Shamsi already exists. Well, I don't think we create ourselves, we develop. Yeah, but if you not, I, I, how are you developed? Uh, I don't know. I, no I don't know. You can't really answer that. No, that's why you made it. So you cannot make claim without proofs. Well, how did we develop? We came up from the ocean. We came from this fish. How do you know we were fish? We got these little webs in our fingers. You don't know about that. Yeah, but, but that's the that, that, that really evolution? Yeah, through evolution. We, we eventually, we were monkeys. Right? Okay, let's go back to the origin. What caused the first thing then? I have no idea. No, I mean, you guys believe in that in the Quran, it came from that. We were kind of, uh, uh, from what? Well, it came from the Quran. Like, it, it says in the Quran. I don't know how it what it says in the Quran, but you guys believe that it, it says something in the Quran that that's how the universe was created, right? How what? Well, how did, how did the universe... Well, no, we'll come to that first. Let me deal with the first thing. So would they create by nothing? Because if we create, if we exist, therefore we don't have to create ourselves. Yeah. If we are not existent, we need what? Something to create us. Something to create us. Yeah, so yeah. even for the sake of argument, that when evolution is not scientifically proven, because what is, we go to scientific method, what is scientific method, and let us try to apply on, on Darwinian evolution. Darwinian evolution is the, big, the biggest and the greatest hallucination in the history. But it's been pushed by the media and by uh, 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 Oxford universities has been established to push specific agenda, and I will demonstrate that, uh, that to you, inshallah. But let's go back, for the sake of argument, let's go back to the first thing, what brought into existence. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning. They have no firm beliefs, they're just guesswork. So you need the creator. And to give you a simple example, to give you a simple example, a phone. I always mention the example of the phone. Okay. What is the phone is made from? Plastic, glass, glass yeah. so on. So if we have a different plastic, different glasses, different particles, and give you five billion years, would that develop to become an iPhone? No. Organized. No. You see. So which one is more complicated? Our eyes, our body, or the phone? Probably our body. Body. So Allah, you know, Allah said. وَفِي أَنفُسِكُمْ أَفَلَا تُبْصِرُونَ With Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَفِي الْأَرْضِ آيَاتُ لِلْمُوْقِنِينَ وَفِي أَنفُسِكُمْ أَفَلَا تُبْصِرُونَ Upon the earth there is a signs for Allah's existence and within yourself. Don't you not reflect? You have a nose next to your mouth. Why? Why? Before you eat smell food. You have eyebrows above your eyes. Why? Because the sweat contains a salt. If it keeps going to your eye. You have a joint in your elbows. Why? For you to move and back. You understand? Look at, you have eyes in the front, not at the back. Because you walk forward, not backward. So when you look at this creation, which Allah, that's why Allah always utilizes this argument for us to reflect upon it, bro. Reflect upon your creation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. Another verse Allah said, هَلْ أَتَعَ الْإِنسَانِ حِينُ مِنَ الدَّهْرِ لَمْ يَكُنْ شَيْئًا مَذْكُورًا إِنَّا خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ نُطْفَةٍ أَمْشَاجٍ نَبْتَلِهِ فَجَعَنَّهُ سَمِيعًا بَصِيرًا Allah mentioned the meaning of the verse. Doesn't mankind think there was upon a time, they're not even worth of mentioning. Now they have hearing and seeing. And we're created from what? From a sperm. Imagine we never see someone being created. Imagine, let me give you this example for you to understand. And we saw a sperm. I said, bro, you know, from this sperm, a, a human come. Tell me you're a crazy guy. Tell me you're mental. But Allah created us from that. You see, it shows you his power. Look, that's what I advise. Allah to Alina, ya Habibi. Thank you for smoking, man. You know, 
because I'm a boxer, you know, so I have to take out. I'm not a boxer, by the way. Like. I'm just scared of people. <laughs> anyway, bro. So what I'm saying, bro, when you reflect upon Allah's creation, the upper and the lower, then you can see. However, some people, we don't want to believe in God because they know what is the outcome of believing God. So, of course, we're going to come to Darwinian evolution. Is Darwinian evolution scientifically proven? No, because what is the scientific method? Scientific, uh, scientific method is what? Collection of data based upon observation through experimentation. Then you come to a conclusion. That's why when Richard Dawkins was cornered with the question, how come we have not seen? I'm not talking about this, uh, you get a long finger, you know what I'm saying? This is not a Darwin evolution. So how come we have not seen one species evolve into completely different species? Richard Dawkins said because of a time, we need a longer time. So are you telling me there is no species that has been existing here for five million years as they claim, because even that I doubt it, because it's just uh, assumptions, five million years and it's a time for it to evolve completely different thing. Rather what we see, brother, order. Woman giving a birth to human being, not to chicken. Because if it's random, bro, because we have to be realistic. What, is, what the atheists do, I'm not talking about any atheists, uh, the uh, militant atheists, they use the big words. Big words can confuse people. They say, collect, what is it, uh, selective uh, se uh, uh, selection, uh, what is it, uh, the term, the selection of, uh, uh, what's the word, man? Major. No, 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 the, the, the natural, selection, natural, selection. natural selection and so on. Bro, and random, they say random is what? Okay, you know what is random? Imagine you st everyone standing here and I have a stick and I keep coming to you and hitting you. Doing it over and over and over again. I said, you know, brother, don't blame me, it's a random. You tell me, no, you're lying. Because what they say, the repetition, repetition re, uh, to, to repeat something over and over again, and you keep doing it the same way, it means you're doing it on, on purpose. And there's an order you are following. So if everything is random, meaning random, let us be honest with ourselves. That's why Richard Dawkins and all of that, they don't like someone to speak to them in a simple language to, put the, to, to what? To pin them down. What is random? Random, anything can happen. Random, my mother can give a birth to chicken. My father can somehow, a God comes from him. Because everything is random. Is that correct? Yeah. Right. But what we see? Order. Designed. And designed and order need a designer. It's a logical, rational argument. Make sense? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Well, I advise you, bro, look. Read the Quran. Read why Islam is the truth. Let me give you one thing that I always mention, yeah? One of the proof that Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of Allah, his Sharia legislation, okay? Listen to this, yeah? Now the world is going, you know, you know especially Western world. The Western world, the example of, of, I've been living here for 20 years now, yeah? What I have observed, the Western world is like, some, like a man that has been broken from every part of his body. And he has a burn in his face, everything. So why does he wear nice suits? He has a nice mask, nice shade, nice hat. People who doesn't know about him, they, they look at him from outside, amazed, look at him. That's how it is a Western world. Western world are, are bleeding from within. Rape, murder, all of that. Do you know why? For example, Islam came to preserve five things. Listen carefully today, yeah? Islam came to preserve five things. Islam came to preserve religion. What does it mean? Islam warns severely and gets worshipping other than the creator who created the heavens and the earth. That's why paganism, polytheism is forbidden Islam. Okay? Islam came to protect the, the, the brain, the intellect of people. Okay? Why? Alcohol and drugs is forbidden Islam. Okay? Islam came to preserve people's wealth, interests, and usury is forbidden Islam. Islam came to preserve people's lineage. That's why adultery and fornication is forbidden Islam. Islam came to preserve people's honor. That's why defaming people online or defaming people, regardless, Muslim or non-Muslim, is, is a major sin in Islam. It's forbidden. Now let me go to the other side. Alcohol. In every society, alcohol is allowed. Is alcohol good for people or bad for people? Bad. bad. Alcohol is bad for people individually and, uh, uh, and collectively. Okay. Gambling, is it good for people or bad for people? Bad. Bad. Gambling costs pe cost people to do what? Even steal from their own families. Just to go and gamble. So it's bad collectively and uh, uh, individually, collectively. Now, interest, is it good or bad? bad? 
interest, it, 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 how it depends. So if, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I utilize my wealth to make you more poorer and make myself more richer, is that good? No. That's why it's interest. Interest, what I'm doing, I know you're, you're in need of money, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to borrow you the money, then I say, before you, when you, if you want to give it to me back, you give me extra money. That's why the, the interest make rich richer and the poor poorer. 2009, how old are you, by the way? Uh, 23. Okay, 2009, do you know what 2009? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. that's it. What was the reason of it? Because of interest. Yeah. Okay, so it's bad for people, individually, collectively, okay? And now fornication, is it good or bad? bad. It's bad. Collectively, okay. So why all of these are allowed in societies which call them more civil, civilized societies? When we know it's bad for us. Who comes against it? Islam. That's why, let me give you an example. Imagine I live in a city and I have companies of interest, banks. I have companies of gambling. I have companies of alcohol. I have companies or what do you call them? Uh, industry, uh, 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 like we call them companies of prostitution and, and so on. And I'm making money from people. Even though I know what I'm doing, I'm causing suffering. I'm, I'm making money from the suffering of the people. And you come along to my city now, and you're a Muslim, and you're calling people to Islam. How am I going to look at you? Probably negative. Yeah. Very negative. As we can know what, this guy's my enemy. Take my money. There's my money. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to utilize my money that I have to make you look bad. And this was happening in our time. Majority of people who, are, who hate Islam are two. Either ignorant or people in power, generally speaking. So those in power are making money from the suffering of the people. That's why they are utilizing their money to make Islam look bad. How? Through media. Even though you just agree with me, if whatever Islam has legislated is good for people. So Islam is good for mankind. Doesn't mean it's perfect because we're human beings, you know? So tell me please, how we have these politicians and experts that studied in the best universities in the world but they cannot bring solutions to the world. But we have a man that existed 1,400 years ago, came from a cave where the legislation is best for mankind. Bro, okay. so this man must be something special about him, which is he received the revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why no man can bring what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu brought. He, the legislation in family. Islam pay attention greatly to the ties the connection between the families, you see. But there is a big uh, 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 campaign against destroying families. That's why Christianity is dying, bro. Oh, it's dead. Judaism is a tribalism religion. Hinduism is a philosophical ways. That's why there is a huge war against Islam. But even though there is a huge war against Islam, the fastest growing religion on the face of the earth is Islam. Even though the Muslims are weak. So who's doing the job? You know who's, who's doing the job? Allah. And do you, do you know that Allah mentioned that 1,400 years ago? Allah said, Huwa alladhi arsala rasulahu bil huda wa deen al haqqi li yudhirahu ala deen kulli wa kafa billahi shaheeda. It is Allah who sent his prophet with the truth and guidance in order for Islam to prevail other religions even, and sufficient for Allah to be the witness. In another verse is, and even if the disbelievers dislike it, and like I said, there is a huge war against Islam worldwide. In Australia, it's so crazy. It's worse than Britain. Australia, day and night, against Islam, against Islam. Negative, negative. In America and so on. But yet, many Australians, many French, many Germans, many British, accepting Islam without us using a fork or a spoon or a knife. Why? Because Allah mentioned this religion will prevail. And alhamdulillah, you can see that. Make sense? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Wallahi, well, look, brother. You're born in a Muslim... Uh, sorry. You're born in a Muslim family, but this is that I have mentioned that before. So our, our, some, our parents, may Allah forgive them all. They have Islam, which is a culture Islam. Culture Islam. You Muslim, stop. That's it. Enough. You don't have to. You know. You know. May Allah forgive our parents. But I always mention this: in our time, the Muslim should learn why Islam is the truth. You cannot claim to be a Muslim and you don't know where Islam is the truth because Islam is being challenged worldwide. So we have to know. And Alhamdulillah, I can stand here by Allah's permission alone. I can prove Islam logically, rationally, tangibly. Islam is the truth. Alhamdulillah. You see, and that's what, what, what distinguishes Islam from any religion. Islam doesn't say, believe in God. Where is the proof? Jesus is going to die for your sins, brother, don't worry. That's not proof. Jesus loves you. That's not proof. Prophet Muhammad loves you. That's not proof. 
I cannot tell you believe Islam is the truth because one day I was in my, in my house and I had a dream. Prophet Muhammad came to me. So believe Islam is the truth. No, Allah doesn't say that in the Quran. Allah gives you universal proofs why Islam is the truth. Do you know what is those called universal proofs? Our universal knowledge. You know what is our universal knowledge? It's our observation, our senses. That's how we know something. For example, you know that you're speaking to Shamsi because you can see me clearly, correct? One of the ways to attain certain knowledge about something, our observation. Likewise, our senses. For me to know the fire is hot, if I touch it, now I know it's hot. So again, the knowledge. Likewise, our intellectual ways to know something, uh, 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 what they call it, uh, is true. For example, I know if something did not exist and came to existence, someone must brought into existence. And it's something which is born with us. The proof for that, as in, not the proof, sorry, not the proof, because it is called self-evidence. The example of that, the example of that, as Ibn Taymi, one of the great scholars mentioned, may Allah have mercy upon him, he said, if you have a child, five months, and you hit the child at the back of his head, the child naturally starts looking who did it. But who said someone did it? Because he knows if something was not there and it comes to existence, something caused it. Okay? So he knows, even a dog, if you throw a stone at the dog, the dog starts looking for the stones. He's not going to start chasing the stone. So that, that's one of the... Uh, uh, also, our, our fitra, natural inclination. Naturally, we know. I don't have to go to school to know that I should not get married to my own mother. Naturally, I know that. Yeah. All of this proves that Allah has created us with. Because how we got this? If we have it from children, someone has to give it to us. Okay? Allah utilized that. In the Quran, Allah utilized proofs that is based upon intellect. Allah utilized proof that is based upon fitra. Allah utilized proof based upon observation. Allah said in the Quran, Inna fi khalq al-samawati wal-ardi wa ikhtilaf al-layli wal-nahari la-ayat li-ul al-bab al-ladina yadkuruna Allah qiyaman wa qu'udan wa ala junubihim wa yatafakkaruna fi khalq al-samawati wal-ard Rabbana ma khalq tahada batila subhanaka faqina adhaba al-nar Allah said in the Quran, with the alteration of a day and night and the creations of the heavens and the earth, it is a sign for who? For people understanding, for people with sound reasoning. Those who remember Allah all the times, yeah? The meaning of the verse. And they say, oh Allah, you have not created this creation without any purpose. You see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, another verse mentioned, he said that, Allah said, you think that we have created without any purpose? And to us, you will not return far away, Allah, from this imperfection. Because that's imperfection for Allah. People say this creation was created without any purpose. Every part of our body has a purpose. What about as a whole? And the one who knows our purpose, he's the one who made us. That's why our universal knowledge that we have, the Quran and Islam goes in line with it. And to give you, to make it clear to you, bro, imagine I make a car. I'm the first person to make a car. Okay? Follow me up, yeah? People come say, I made it, I made it. And everyone gives a menu, and I give you the menu. And you start following people's menus, but the car's not working. But when you follow my menu, it starts working. What, what, what does that necessitate? You're the only one that knows how to do it, right? I'm the, I'm the maker. Yeah. Okay, likewise, when you look to the Quran, it goes in line with your common sense, sound reasoning, with universal knowledge. So therefore, the one who creates us with those universal knowledge is the same one who gave us that revelation. That's why it goes together. Make sense? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. And I can go on on why Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet. For example, look, I'll give you an example of that, yeah? You know when the Prophet Muhammad said the Quran is the word of Allah, he did not just make a claim. Because making a claim, anyone can make a claim, correct? Yeah. I can make a claim. That's the beauty of Quran, that's the beauty of Islam. Islam is not just, it is not about just a claim. Islam substantiates and defends its claim. When Allah said the Quran is the word of Allah, what Allah said in the Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, in Kuntum fi raibin mimma nazzanna ala abdina, fa'atu bi suratin min mithlihi, wad'u shuhada'akum min duni Allah in Kuntum sadiqin, fa'in lam taf'alu, walan taf'alu, fa'attaqu al-nar, alati waquduha al-nasu wal-hijara, u'iddat al-kafirin. Allah said to the Arab pagans and everyone, if you are in doubt, or if you don't believe, that this Quran, that we gave to Muhammad is from Allah, then it brings something like it and bring witnesses and if you cannot do it and you will never be able to do it Allah does not say you cannot do it no Allah is challenging you that you will never be able to do it yeah then fear the fire that which Allah created based upon his justice and his power fear the fire that is it's fuel full of men and stones 
So Allah threatened us with this because why? This is a clear proof. Now there's many enemies of Islam for the history, yeah? And all of them try to invalidate the prophethood of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Correct? Okay. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is coming to them and say, listen, here, try to invalidate it. We know historically speaking, for 1,400 years, no one that tried to change the Quran except he made a silly of himself. There is an Egyptian guy, he tried to change the Quran. Because what, what is the meaning here? The eloquence in its speech, okay, the legislation, the prophecy, and so on. The Quran's eloquence is so perfect. So he tried to change the Quran. He was making mis uh, 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 grammatical mistakes in every sentence. Come on, God, who is uh, the creator, making mistakes in grammatical uh, mistakes? So, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes, oh, so what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam challenged them, yeah? He did not stop there. He challenged the Arab again, okay? And the Arab pagans, especially his people, they were, they were doing everything to invalidate prophethood. Let me ask you this question. Imagine I challenge you. So what you do, you wage a war against me. Which one is more easier, to accept the challenge or to wage a war? Except because when you wage a war, you're going to lose a family, yeah. you're going to lose wealth, and so on. So how come the Arab pagans did not accept the challenge? And who were the Arab pagans? They were the masters in the Arabic language. They were eloquent in their speech. They, you know, the Arab, they never had a book before. They, they summarized thousands of lines of poems. They were known to be shu'ara, poets. That's their life. Their life, as the poet said, uh, 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 Yes, uh, 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 they used to always drink alcohol, always drink alcohol, and they used to say poem, poem, and they used to challenge one another. If they know someone's bringing a poem, they say, okay, that's a good poem. I'm going to challenge you to show I'm more eloquent than you. I'm more poetic than you. What, when the Quran comes, they become silent, as if they don't speak Arabic language anymore, as if they're not master in Arabic language. What they did, they wished the war, because they knew the challenge was the hardest thing, and they knew the war is the easiest thing. That's why they left the challenge and they wish the war against him. Allahu Akbar. Make sense? Yeah. Alhamdulillah, bro. And That's why. He, he came with a strange stuff. Huh? So we've got five, ten minutes. All right. They said the Prophet come, came with a strange stuff. Yeah. You know, you know the, 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 the Arabs, of course, they, 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 Allah, so Allah did not stop there. Allah challenged them again in Medina. You know, the Mecca. Yeah. And it's Medina, yeah? So this challenge was in Mecca. You know what a liar, Tam, you know what uh, Taimur, you know what a liar does? A liar maybe, he won't, generally speaking, liars don't challenge people. Especially if they know they're lying, yeah. you know? But maybe if it happens, slip of the tongue, he said, okay, I'm not going to do it again. Because yeah. it's Allah said, he was doing it over and over again. In Mecca, in Medina. Then you know what Allah said? In Surah Isra, قُلْ لَا إِنْ اجْتَمَعَتِ الْإِنْسُ وَالْجِنِّ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَأْتُوا بِمِثْلِ هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ لَا يَأْتُونَ بِمِثْلِهِ وَلَوْ كَانَ بَعْضُهُمْ لِبَعْضٍ دَهِيرًا Say, so now the, 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 the closure of the, the challenge. Say to the Muhammad that if whole mankind, not just mankind, even the jinn, come together to try to produce something like the Qur'an, they will never be able to do so, even if they help one another. You know the Qur'an came to people, they used to bury their daughters alive. They came to the people when there was two great civilization, the Persian civilization and the Roman civilization, correct? And they used to look at the Arab, some backward people and civilized people. But the greatest civilization in the history and that spread so fast is Islam civilization. And what is it based upon? The Quran. The Quran took people out of darkness. We're not talking about civilization, not civilization that makes a man like a donkey. Donkey was then a dog, that crazy stuff. No, civilization that gives a values to human beings. It gives a values to everything. It gives everything what it deserves. That's the meaning of what it deserves, okay? So this civilization is based upon the Quran book that changed people, they used to wage a war against each other for 40 years. Bible, can you speak? No, the Bible, no, because the Romans, they were known, the Greeks, they were known to have civilization. The Bible did not change them. Yeah. What changed the Arabs is the Quran. And this civilization is based upon the Islam, not all of it, by the way, there's some stuff we don't agree with, but this civilization yeah. is based upon the Andalusian civilization. You know about Andalusia? Spain and Portugal, yeah, the Islamic civilization for 800 years. There was a, a, a French historian, he said it was good for the, he said, uh, he said, I was hoping for Islam to spread all the way to England. Otherwise, we would have lived the Dark Ages. Because when the Europeans were in Dark Ages, the Muslim in Andalusia and Baghdad and Dimash and India, those side when the Muslim, they were civilized. They had showers. You know, remember that the king and the queen, they never take shower. 
and, and, and they need to know how to read. In Andalusia, everyone, you know, everyone knows how to read and write. Which year I'm talking about? Street yeah, they had street lights, not electricity one. You know, the light and the candle and the, yes, you can, see, you can see it far away. So when you look to the Quran, this book is a guidance for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know Allah said, Inna hadha al-Quran yahdi lillatihi ya aqwam. That this Quran guides to that which is the best and perfect. Look, when we turn away from God, look what's happening. We don't know what's going on with that. Literally, uh, man can't wake up and say, I'm a woman. And a woman say, I'm a man. Yeah. Literally, your child can tell you, listen, I'm a donkey. Yeah. And respect my, uh, my, 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 my choice. Literally, I can tell you, listen, I'm a lamppost. Yeah. I, I believe I'm a, I, I'm a lamppost. I've been, I've been, sorry, Akhi, forgive me. Yeah? Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm a lamppost. I've been, I've, been, I've been trapped in a human body. Yeah. And if you don't respect my choice, you're a bigot, racist. You know what is that? Allah said in the Quran. That's, the answer is in the Quran. Woman arada an dhikri fa inna lahu ma'ishtan danka. Whoever turns away from my remembrance, they will have a miserable life. That's the reality. Yes, our, our streets are clean. Our house are clean. But if I have a child that always do, dirt, do disgusting stuff in my house, but he clean the house, but always do dirty, disgusting, I said, no, I need, to, I need to protect my other children from him. I can't do my cleaning by myself. You see, that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَ بَنِي آدَمِ We have favored the son of Adam. Allah, the Islam come to elevate the son of Adam. But other than Islam come to base, the base Bani Adam, make him worse than a dog. There is a man, he believes he's a dog. He's a doctor. He said, he's, he's, I, I believe I'm a dog. How can you trust him? You go to treat for him. Maybe if you're a donkey. Bring some big injection like this. <laughs> you know, it, it, you know, as the Arabs say, Sharru al-baliyati ma yudhik. The worst of the affairs, that which make you laugh. But it makes you cry as well. You know, we love good for, for the non-Muslims. We love good for everyone. But some people, will, like I said, what's happening now, those who are in power are utilizing their wealth to make us look bad, yeah. even though Islam is the best way. Does it make sense? Yes. Is it clear to you? Yeah. So are you still Muslim or you not become Muslim? If it makes sense to you, it's clear to you. I'm going to look into it. You want to look into it? No, uh, uh, take my number. If you have any question, inshallah, you can contact me, brother. Will I? I can send you uh, uh, books to read and everything. Just put 9-9. I'm joking, 9-9, they put you through. <laughs> Yeah, Shamsi. Where, where are you from? Okay? I'm from Pakistan. No, no, where are you from? Oh, from North London. North London. Uh, how long is you here, bro? January 1st. Yeah, we can meet up, inshallah. You know, come. We'll come again. Yeah, you it's have my number? Right? No, no, I'm not here. Come to, you want to, uh, I invite you to my house. Come. Okay. You can sit, come. If you want to sit, probably we talk. I have books at home. Go through books. Go. You want to do it proper way. I'll show you. Alhamdulillah. Right. I'll keep in touch. All right, brother. Do you have any question? No, I appreciate it. Khalas, inshallah. We'll meet up another time. Yes, Look out to yourself, brother. Yeah? Take care, man. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum, khawaya. Akhi, there is a brother. I was waiting to get something. Ah, okay, okay. All right, khalas, inshallah. Oh, Afwan, yeah. Yeah, um, so, probably start off from Abraham. Sir?